All right, hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. How's it going, everybody? Um, I have just started filling my right hand. So as you guys can tell by the title, it's my left hand art on my right hand day. Um, so I'm doing something a little different, something I haven't done in like since last <laughs> summer. Um, so I've already built these three nails because they're like my typical other nails and these ones I like to kind of keep as my accent nails. Um, so I have my extensions, I have filed them down very thin because I'm going to do some encapsulating on these ones first. And I just wanted to do that part with you guys before I finish file because this one had a little fun and this one I had to do a whole new nail because I don't know what I did but this whole entire piece was all lifted and yeah so all right so on these ones so i'm doing lemon nails you know like the sour citrus lemon um so on these nails i have this fine neon green iridescent glitter and i'm gonna have that underneath and i have this cute little wheel of you know there's like watermelon two ways dragon fruit and that and I'm going to use the the lemon slices because that's last what I'm doing and I'm gonna get out a little tray and some tweezers because these two have only like I've done my uh, my bonding and my foundation layer I haven't done anything else to them yet and these Fimos are sliced super thin, so I'm super happy about that. And I'm just going to get a few out here. Maybe like four or three each, and then I'm going to cut a few. Because I don't really want like a whole nail of Fimo slices. I just want like the tip kind of done, you know what I'm saying? You guys might hear the uh, the garbage truck outside. I apologize about that. It is spring cleanup day and they are coming to pick up all the trash. So I'm just using my nippers and slicing these in half. And I'm going to pause and do that and I will be right back. Okay, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it was. So I'm going to go with two whole slices and three wedges per nail. Sorry, hard to see. So I have those ready to go and I have my little picker upper. So I'm going to close this before I spill it because I know I'm going to. All right, so I have my Builder Gel Redemptions. This is a medium partially self-leveling gel and i'm gonna open up my green glitter and i'm going in with like i guess you could call this like a slick layer i'm literally just painting this on i'm not floating or building anything It's so awkward the way I hold my hand like this. Look at this. The way I'm holding my hand. Why don't left hands work? They probably don't work for left-handed people, but they don't work for me. All right, so I'm going to take my glitter brush. And I'm going to dip it. And I'm going to tap it. And I'm going to cover the whole whole nail because I still want that like see-through clear look but I want that kind of faded green in the back because the other nails are going to have actual like I'm going to do um, some raised 3D lemons if that makes sense we have some nice sparkly green clear nails and I'm going to cure that and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to use my 
fan brush and just get what I can off my skin for now. Just like so. And so I'm going to go in with another thin layer of Builder Gel. And I'm hoping I won't get glitter in this brush. So again, just painting it over top. Not building anything yet. Keeping the layers really thin. Okay. Put that in the way. And this may work, this may not work. I'm just kind of going for it. Because, you know, like lemon, like yellow is like such an in color right now. And I'm like, I could do lemons. You know what I'm saying? So I am just placing them wherever. Uh, maybe that might work better like that instead of like that. Kind of trying to keep around like the tip. Yes, okay, and then I'll do the other one the other way. See, that works nicely. So I'm putting like my flat edges to my flat edges. The little wedges. Wedges and edges match. Or I meant rhyme. <laughs> and then because this full one's this way, I'm going to put this one. Oh no, it went down the hole. Okay. You guys see it? You see it down there? It went down there. Oh, it's a good thing we have more. All right. And I'm going to put this one to that side so they become each other's opposite. And then I'm going to cure that and I will encapsulate and finish file. And I will see you guys when I'm all finished filed to move on to the next part of this art design. All right. And just like that, we warped to another time zone. <laughs> okay. So I have finished filed and buffed all of these. I did lose one uh wedge off the side here um but that's okay i'm not worried about it i'm going to add these teeny tiny little leaves with uh some green so i can add a few more in that little spot and i'm not going to be upset about that all right so i'm going to show you guys the colors so i have 1601 which is kind of pastel -y. it's like i would say this is like a true yellow and uh, 1600, which is a more lighter yellow. Here, I'll, I'll put them together so you guys can see. This one's more yellow. This one's toned down. And then I've got two different greens. This one is my favorite green out of this collection. I don't know why. It just kind of stands out. 1609. This is like... It's such a funky teal green color. I love this color. And I also have 1604, which is, it comes off very neon on the camera all the time, but this is a pastel um, seafoam green color. And I have uh, 1629, a little bit of brown, because I'm going to... Um, on the ones that have like the full lemons, I'm going to like shade my lemons a little bit and, you know, give them a little something, something. All right. So what I'm going to start with is, and this one's going to be so hard. Why did I choose to do this? I don't know, but I like to challenge myself. Okay. So I'm going in with my brighter yellow and I'm going to do tips. I'm going to paint in my tips, so wish me luck. And yeah, then we're going to go from there. Um, so I'm going to stabilize my, my hand. All 
great. Um, holy. So the way I do my tips, I find like the the middle of the nail, you know what I mean? And then I do a V shape straight to the center point. And then uh, I follow that natural smile line. Then that gives you my smile line. Then I can go in with a color brush. And fill that in. Oh, touch it with my finger. Oh, just like that. And of course, I need a little on this side because why wouldn't I? And I'm going to cap the tip. So I'm going to do yellow smile on the other three nails. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. So I'm going to pause. I'll do two coats on all of them and I will see you guys at the next step. Okay, so that's what I've done. I've also made a mess, but that is okay. All right, so on this yellow, I am going to touch some gold foil. Just using the tacky layer of this yellow. Just to kind of give it a little extra something. Like that. I'm going to oh, struggle and roll it back up and put it back in the little canister. Alright, so now I need to clean my brush. Brush clean. Alrighty, so these ones I'm going to use uh, 1609 and I'm going to attempt to be fancy and uh, wish me luck here. So I just want to try and do, I'm going to try because we all know how my left hand just works wonderful in between mm. oh so awkward uh that's better so i'm just trying to get like some little leaves here and there don't you know what I mean like little lemon leaves all right and then here see now this one too much this one I can go this way And make them just a bit bigger. There. See? Happy little mistakes. Mm. 
And then he's having a good time. <laughs> I just want that little splash of color on there, just like that. So I'm going to flash cure these so that they don't move. Dooby dooby doo doo doo. I'm going to eat a piece of ice. Sorry. Hold on. Okay, that's enough flash curing. All right, so on the other nails, at first, I'm going to use this lighter yellow, this pastel yellow, if you will, and I'm going to attempt to make a lemon or a lemon shape. You guys can't see me, but I got my tongue sticking out right now. Ah, that looks nice. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have like a little lemon on a stick and some leaves, kind of, if my fingers will cooperate. Hi, how are you? Can you see my lips? I am acting very strange today. My apologies. I hope my head is not in the way. That's what I'm doing. Itty bitty little lemon on the itty bitty little nail. And then on my thumb. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get that off. I'm going to do a bigger lemon. Or trying to make a bigger lemon. All right, so those, I'm gonna flash here though, sorry. Little lemon dots. All right. See, when I concentrate and act like a ding dong, things turn out nicely, most of the time. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to tone the leaves. So like one side's gonna be lighter and then I'm gonna fade a little bit of this other green and then I'm gonna shade the lemon with some of that but also use this for the uh branch that's what I'm talking about well all right I think that's enough flash curing okay so now here goes nothing Steady. Steady. Vinny, what are you laughing at? Steady. Oh, too much. Steady. You can say I touched the towel, guys. All right. Oh, they're turning out so nice. Okay, not sure those. <laughs> huh? That wasn't long enough flash here. Turn the light back on. All right. Do, 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 be, do, be, do, be. Okay. So now I'm going to go back into this dark green. And I'm going to do that. 
because I know that's about as good as that's going to get. Yeah. I'm impressing myself right now. Pretty, pretty. Flashy, flashy. Closey, closey. Oh, I can't wait to share my, like, competition stuff with you guys. I've been working so hard behind the scenes i have five um hand ins for nail masters canada i have completed two i am 90 i'd say 98 percent finished my third and i can't wait to share it with y'all but i can't share anything with you other than what i'm saying right now because um, we're not allowed to post anything uh, pre-judgment by the judges. All right. Okay, time for uh, uh, awkwardness. Um, here, let's go. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to do like a little... Break off the side so it looks like it's on a branch. Just like that. Okay. Come on, hand. Don't be so shaky. Connected the leaves on that one. You see that? I don't really worry too much about my pinky because it's always my worst enemy. All right. Okay. You can do it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly what Vinny's saying. All right. Flash those. And I don't think I'm going to use this brown to shade the lemon because it seems like it's too light for me. So what I'm going to do is grab some Tips and Toes gel polish in the black. And I'm going to... Yeah. I tried to open it and the lid came off. Like the top part of the lid came off. <sighs> okay, try this again. I can't do it. Why why won't you open? Oh, there we go. I got it. Yeah. Magic with one hand. I'm going to just go dot because that's all I need is a tiny dot. And I'm going to have my sheer brilliance one and sheer brilliant. Oh, you can't see it's not on the camera. Sheer brilliance one and sheer brilliance three. And that's enough flashy, flashy. I always leave my hand in the light too long. So I'm going to take some uh, Sheer Brilliance 3 and just like the title, I'm going to make a sheer 
little black here for some shadowy parts because I am crazy and am attempting insaneness with my left hand. Uh -huh. Here we go. That's nice. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of black. Uh, normally I wouldn't use gel polish for striping because it's not stable. It likes to slide. But because I'm using such a tiny amount, I do not foresee a problem. And I'm just putting little black lines. If my hand would stay still. On the leaves and putting just a few of the little little dots on uh, the whole lemons to give them that little textury look it has. Ooh. Come on, hand. Mm. Mm. Ah, that one's a fail. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna do some little stripes, just quick little stripes. I have gel all over the back of my left hand right now. Can't see it, but I can feel it because I'm sticking my hand in it. See, look. Ha. All right. Tell me, is my head in the way this whole time? Because I'm like in my face. I don't know why, but when I'm doing art with my left hand, I feel I need to be closer to my hand. Ha 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 ha. Mm -hmm. All right, so I am super happy with that. I'm going to fully cure that and then I'm going to gel seal and top coat and I will see you guys all with the end result. All right, I am putting on some juicy pomegranate oil. Too bad I don't have lemon. Maybe I should make a, ooh, I'm going to make a lemongrass oil. It gotta be pretty nice. Alrighty, so there they are. I have cleaned up what I can, but my natural oils and that will get the color off my skin eventually. But I think these turned out so cute. Look at these cute little lemon nails. Aren't they cute? They're so freaking cute. Little oh, bump is bugging me though. Oh, there we go. But yes, oh my gosh, I love you. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle again with my left hand. But um, in all fairness, I think these turned out pretty well for <laughs> left-handed art. I always try to push myself sometimes with something a little more difficult. And, you know, when I have patience and I have a good time, they turn out. And I really like the way these turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, click, comment, like up this video, subscribe, and if you would like to follow me on Instagram at bc underscore jazzy underscore time, or you can also follow me on Twitter at nailsby. Anywho, I am uh, gonna go and get dressed and, uh, yeah, gonna get to some more nail tutorials for y'all. So I hope you guys all stay tuned and stay jazzy.